welcome back. So we reached the ancient tem temple here and we are about to go in, I think. Passed the first part of our test. And now what happens? Right. Oh, the vault. The structure has been here for centuries. It appears only way to open the vault is by using the force. Okay, good thing we have one of those forces. Amazing. Oh, I could have entered from the top, maybe. Uh, scan? That's a good idea to scan. You alright, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Oh. So we're not entering the vault, it seems. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Oh. Yep. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. <laughs> or a droid. See it was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It's like, why do you sit in the water? Like, swish. Ah, well, you're a Jedi. Maybe there's a Jedi trick to not getting wet. When sitting in water. All right, so this seems like search Zepho for ancient tombs. M. Oh, now the objective is just getting back. But we have a lot of things that we haven't discovered yet. So we want to clean out this map for anything we can because it's awesome. But it looks like we can't go further here until after we pass the three tests. Four stripe butt. Yep, that's... That's that's a very unique ability. That's it's nice to have that one. Force drying. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Oh, okay. Ow! Ow, 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 that hurt. That please don't do that. Why do I not block these? 
Come on. There we go. That's how I block. That was not well done. Can I get some help? Patched up. I'm not getting enough from from these stims. Try getting some getting distance and blocking, then cutting the tongue. Yeah, I I don't know how to cut the tongue. I don't think that I, I haven't seen sort of any interactability on that. Is that one of those Falcors? Mysterious skeleton. The structure of these bones suggests a large reptilian creature. An analysis of remnant of elements within the bones date them at as old as thousand years. Okay. So they're reptilians, so they're not the same. Uh, where are we going down? Is that not something, that one? Doesn't that look like something? Okay, well, I guess it's not something. Uh, ooh, abandoned workshop. Okay, so it's not the same. And we can still climb back up. Okay. Lock tight. All right. Let's see. That means that's gonna give be a red icon here. Yep. And we still have. Okay, that's probably just gonna lead. Kick the rope, I couldn't. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Destination unlock Dathomir. Okay, that's just what he just said. Oh, there's more scanning. Good job. Uh, where is it? Faded murals. Oh, that's number thirteen. Faded mural located on Bogana, not far from the Sephir Vault. It likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, those small ones. I don't know. Also the ones that run away. Shortcut enabled. Nice. Now I'm leaning up. These ones? Can... Should be a lot quicker than the way in. I can't scan these. Uh, but we want to do something. Rest. We did have something over here that... Okay, well we tried this before. Should I jump over there or jump down there? I have a bit of an issue sometimes judging the depth here. What is this place? Hmm. Ledge. There's something over there that we. Yeah, that's probably gonna hurt going into that. We made it. Some fat loot. The Jedi used this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. Research notes. Particular handcrafted notes on the energy sphere left behind by research on Bogana. Oh, that sphere. Cool. Can we turn them off?
Oh, can I go out there? Hmm. Looks like something I could climb, doesn't it? How do I get up there? Good morning, sir. There is a ledge up here. We have to get it. We have to get up there somehow. And I think the... I think I can go from here. No. Whoops. Oh, I can't... Oh, I must be able to jump up there, right? Can I jump up? Yeah. Okay. Can I force that thing? No. See that thing? We want that. How do we get there? My guess would be I'd have to go out through one of those and maybe walk on the outside and get back into that one. And my force is only a slow, so I can only... See, I can slow these up here. And the fact that I can do it just to me indicates that I must do it. I can also do that one, that one. Why is there one below and... Yeah, the handhold, this does look a handhold. It just doesn't... I mean, I'm jumping up here and I press and climb. It, it does look like handhold, but isn't? I guess. Up, oh, up. Oh. Can I get up here? It doesn't seem like it's intended the way that. It's odd, right? Is that start again? That's probably not a great idea. Can you jump the ball? I can't get up there. It's my issue is that I can't get... Maybe there's something on the outside. Oh, that's, that's not a great place to jump. Is that a thing? That's not a thing we can jump to, is it? No. No, it wasn't. Oh, that one. Maybe on the outside? Maybe we can go this way around. We have more stuff there, but... I don't like that it seems like we're missing something in here. Map. Uh, where was it? Oh, it's this one, right? There's this ledge up here, and there's this ball. Maybe it's something that we... Whoops, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something where we come back and we have another ability that make, it, make the drop 
the ball drop or something like that. It um, we just look here. I don't really see anything. That's a thing, uh, but there's also a thing up there. Maybe, maybe the, the maybe just a lot of things. All right, I I think we're gonna leave it as. Yeah, but the thing is, we don't even have that discovered yet. It's something over here. So maybe more trials later on. Got something here. That thing looks like it smells worse than Grease does. Um, that's a boss thingy, right? Oh, this is not gonna happen. We don't like those. Well, that's a great start. Look at our damage! Look at that! That's gonna be a million million uh, deaths to the sky. Did you ever think about playing Dark Souls? No, I did not think about it. Not a second did I think about playing Dark Souls. It is not a game for me. So I lost my XP or what? And we have to run all this way back here. To get another shot at this fight. Which is going to kill me in two seconds. Alright, let's try it. Okay, that cannot be... Okay, that's fun. Why would I want... Yeah, this is, uh, this, this is not working. This is... I, there's no way I can fight this guy. I'm going to try a few times, but this is just not working. So there, this is, it has a name and all that, Octobocto, and it's clearly a boss of some kind. And I'm just going to lower the difficulty and kill it because I, I don't have the patience for, for this and I don't have the skills either. So I don't know what... What can we do? That's... A can you... I don't know what's happening. Can you just... Okay. What are you doing? Alright. That's a stun. Ah! Dodge. Now we can... Why am I not... There. So I, I understand the idea, I think. So it has two two attacks that cannot be dodged, the red ones. One is the tongue thing and the other one is a leap thing. And so those have to be dodged. And then you have something that can be, I don't understand how, quite what can be blocked and what can be parried because I don't seem to be able to parry those big attacks there. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, lovely. Can I get... Uh, can I get out of here? Then I restore. Come on. Roll away. And then... Counters out of block stamina, he will be temporarily vulnerable. Uh, that doesn't sound good. 
Ah, this is not happening. Yeah, this is not happening. Four stop. Yeah. I, I just to. What I don't like is that you get it's such a small area that you run up against the wall and then I can't move. I can't dodge and then get hit once, get hit two, and then I'm basically just watching myself get killed slowly. Not slowly, quickly. So you can take like three hits or something. And I think that the essence is that I must get some... Let's get distance so that you can actually anticipate the attacks. Ah, uh, slow thing. That's two attack. Holy shit! Some somehow that just worked. A little help. Can we scan it? one Just making sure you're still there. Why can I not scan this one? Hey, one Well, I want to scan it. I don't know what happened. Suddenly, I could dodge and stuff. Is it trying to defend its family? Scumplink must be repaired before, uh, so that means we need to come back when you have the scumplink. Oh, I already scanned it. Okay, so that means I have an octobocto thing. No? No, I don't have any. Oh, no. Inu Cordoba. That's the one we were missing. No? There's still something. Can I see which one? Oh, that one. BD1. Ah, okay. The encrypted files. I don't have it. The tactical. Ah, the tactical, maybe. Octo, the splocks, and the octo octo. Ah, sever the tongue with combination of force and lightsaber attacks. Highly aggressive, tremendous speed. It's a Fiendishly formidable abomination, even deadlier than its common relative. This hyper-aggressive predator attacks with ferocity, constantly maneuvering towards its prey to inflict greater injury at close range. The creature's speed and stamina are unmatched, making it difficult to parry, no shit, and strike its light resistance shot. No, no, I killed an Octo. This was a named one. This one's an Octobogdo. It's a difference between an Octo and an Octobogdo. All right, that was good. And now I'm stuck. I can't go through. <laughs> Huge difference. There's at least a Bogdo in difference. See, there's something up here. Look, there's a crate as well. And that, that's probably out of reach for us. Now, this thing annoys me a bit. I might just have to look at... Oh, can I wall run this? Oh, I can. Barely. I don't like giving up on that one, but I think you have to. I'm 
And then I have... Now I'm not going to rest because then he comes back. I have to wall run, wall run this. And, and remember to climb. Yes. But so clever way that this is done. So you block things off with abilities you don't have yet. Hello, little dude. Can I scan you? No. I still can't scan them. And I don't want to fall down. That's the Octobocto layer. Can I jump here? No. It, it looks like I can, right? No. Double jump? Why can I not scan these little dudes? Just checking on you. Uh. Ah, don't want to fall down there. What is that? Yeah, that's something we haven't discovered. Look, I can see something. Ah, what is that? Uh, okay, so that was on the way to Octobocto. Then there was something above us. Okay, I'm just going to say that... Oh, that thing there. Which we can't use yet because it needs some kind of ability that we don't have. And I can't get over there. Okay. I'm just trying to navigate on where we are. Uh, we need that thing. And we need to go back. Cool. Oh. Okay, that was difficult. Can I not scan you? Holding oh, up, scan okay. you. Hmm. Good to hear. Who is over here, right? Nothing that way. What are these things? I can't scan those either. Making sure you're still there. Hmm. These have now respawned. Let's go with a. Ooh, that's nice. So now we need to wall run, wall run this part. Leave the lightsaber, please. Oh, we did it. Nice. Fractured plane. Okay, so this was a new place. Doesn't look jumpable, jumpable, right? Doesn't look jumpable to, to get over there, no. But we can jump down here. Whoa, 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 okay. What is that, a gold chest? Stim crate, should be here. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. Nice. Stim canister quite. And I have three stims. Nice. Okay, and we are here. That has a red outline, so it cannot be slowed. Uh, I could jump down, but that's a hell of a long way back. And I think I got what I needed, but maybe if I push this down here, I can do something else, but I can't push it down there. Okay. I think that's about what we could get out of that. Yeah, a subwoofer. <laughs> yes, indeed. It was a big subwoofer. A giant stone subwoofer. Nice. All right. Cool. So, does that lead anywhere else? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's definitely not place. And then we have to wall run back. Well, technically we don't have to wall run back, I guess. But we did.
Yeah, this one just goes down to that one. Oh, this map. This makes so much sense. This map makes so much sense. Imagine if this was not a three-dimensional map and it was just tiered in layers. Oh, that would be horrible. It's a bit difficult to read, but of course it's difficult to read. It's three-dimensional, so... Damn, that's awesome. I love this game. I'm I'm completely gushing about it. It's uh, not something usually happens, but I mean, Star Wars has that. Something that uh, pays attention to Star Wars mythology is always just very welcome to me. And I this feels very Star Wars-like. Can I... Oh yeah, I can just jump here. Whee! Uh, nope. All right, it looks like there's only one place left, and that's below the ship. You seem happy. Why can I not scan these bastards? 81? Just making sure you're still there. Oh. Now you want to. I'm looking. Boggling tunnels. The boggling port backing is the Octo, desperately trying to protect his family. No, that's not it. O Boggling tunnels connect their nets and serve as a natural defense against predators. Able to dig five meters per day, boggling to collaborate in heckles in large packs. Spending approximately one third of their life band digging intricate tunnel networks. Only five meters per day? Is that is that a lot? It doesn't seem like a lot. And there was something below, like something here. Oh yeah. That's probably not a big thing. Oh, hey there, little guy. Hey there, little guy. Oh, um, also needs some skill we don't have yet. Ooh, a big giant ball that we can't play with. Huh. I'm just going to slash the wall. I love that. Look at that. Of course, it's not going to destroy the... I mean, ideally, everything would break with the lightsaber, but I love that. Those scars that I left. All right, so that was a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, I'm sorry that you can't sleep. Abject stability. I can't sleep either. I just want to play this game more. This is so much fun. All right, let's have a look on the map. I see a lot of red dots. And then we know we have maybe something over here by this area that we couldn't figure out. I, I think it looks complete. I'm not going to run around looking for something we don't even know. It's, it's also very clear that we have to come back. At some point. So, let's see what we get. Let's look at like a cutscene is engaging. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli Mead fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of force sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. 
All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. <laughs> Darth Mira Zepho, it's your choice. And we're back. Ha. I think um, I'll, I'll try to anticipate these longer cutscenes. If uh, that one seemed pretty obvious that it was going into a cutscene. Hey, All right. Grace, what do we have this here? Thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. And you know, you could pay actually me back not. with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you bet you. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. I right. like it. I'll see if I can find any. And that's also the irony that we... I love nature. I love discovering beautiful nature. As long as it's in a video game, then I love running around in nature. All right, back up. Uh, that's a circle of meditation. And our lightsaber workshop. This seems like a lot of things has been put into this one for absolutely no use, right? Like, does it really matter to me that whether it's a Yaro Tapal or it's a Ino Cordoba? I think I'll take this one. The switch. Oh, look at that massive difference. Valorant Wisdom too. We'll take a Valorant Wisdom. No allies. And we also should get some other things, right? Customization. And we got... That doesn't look good. That one. Uh, I think this looks better. This is a bit... Uganodon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you, you know what? Well, that will be a... Only poncho. So the fact that there's a poncho here implies that there could be other settings. Okay, that's cool. But right now it's just a bit boring. Which is fine. Oh, leave that thing alone. Don't wave it around inside the spaceship. Meditate. We don't have skill points, do we? It's actually just, I don't know if this acts as a save point, but we have to do this to make it count as a save point. Oh, one skill available, nice. I want the empowered slow. Oh, I can't. No, no, no. I want the better blocking. Cal's defense are improved, allowing him to take less block stamina damage when I mean come attacks. I want to be blocking more. So I want that one. Cool. It's a bit boring. That's the terrarium. Can I talk to you? When hey, you want to go, hello. let me know. I'll be right here. All right, all right. So we need to figure out where we want to go. Outside? No, no, no. Can we talk to you, Sarah? Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but... Like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. Let's talk later, Cal. I mean, of course I, I realize that this is how we travel, but you want to talk to everyone before going into the travel option. Use the holo table. 
All right. So next, we have search Sepho for ancient tombs or search. Sef oh, the mission is this is Sepho. This is Bogan. Oh. 67% explored, 3 of 16 chests, 3 of 10, 6 ch secrets. Nice. And we have Dathomir. Oh, this... I don't know if this is also... I have never played, I've never watched anything with Dark Souls. But this feels very much like God of War with the like... Okay, I know how much is there. We're definitely going to Sepho because that's where our... Yes, let's travel to Sepho. Cool. You know, you never told me how you became a chest. I was discovered by a seeker when I was very young. They took me to the temple to train. Oh, yeah. Seekers. They're one of a kind, I'll tell you that much. You have no idea what a seeker is, do you? Not a clue. They seek things? Yes. They're Jedi sent to find and retrieve young Force sensitives. Like the ones on that holopod. I was a seeker. Oh, whoa. You know what this means. I didn't discover Cal, if that's what you're thinking. No, it means I'm a seeker too. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, seeker grease. Nice. <laughs> seeker grease. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. Seeker grease. All right. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Hmm. Yeah, coming out of hyperspace, you, um, that's going to be one hell of a break. Oh. Couple bums ain't going to kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of it's under control, like it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting money. a lot of interference <laughs> on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be oh. in touch once I crack this. He got some swagger going on now. Confidence. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordoba was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Oh, I've heard about ancient culture. Just don't know much about them. Like, that's like the most meaningless sentence you could come up with. <laughs> I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. I like how it's attached to the... Uh... The little the BD-1 is attached. BD-1's a helpful droid. He is. He does seem to be warming up to you. Cordova must have really liked droids. He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. Oh, all I Jedi's do that. I chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. Please. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. All right, you collect your thoughts. Let's see if Greece has anything to say before we go out into the world. Oh, he's not even here. Uh, there's stuff I ought to do, but Star Wars is too good. Yep, yep, I know the feeling. Where did Greece go? I like the fact that the inventory is non-existent. So you're not carrying around like a massive amounts of random crafting things that you don't know what's supposed to do with and that kind of thing. 
All right, well, this is a place. This is a new planet. Now, if this isn't a great place to take a little break, I don't know what is. Let's go have, have a chat with Greece before we're diving out. Good work. Oh, we did it. We did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Uh, who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship. The Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. Nice landing, Grease. Me? Oh, yeah. Not a problem. It's easy for a skilled pilot like myself, especially when flying a ship like this. <laughs> it is a nice ship. This baby was a steal. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't steal it. I bought it. Well, I sort of, I almost, I mean, I took out a small loan. <laughs> Big loan, actually. No, it's fine. Look, we're all fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't you have Jedi stuff to do? Get to it, kid. I like him. Been just you and Seer for a while? Oh, yeah, she's great company. <laughs> what about you? How long were you alone on Braca? Oh, I wasn't alone. I had, uh, people. Friends? It's hard to have friends when you have secrets. Uh, don't worry about it. Friends, friends are overrated. <whistles> what did that say? He said we're all his friends. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. What do you want? You're up to something. Nothing gets past old Greasy. I'm watching. All right. That's all the dialogue options. We want to explore the dialogue options as well. All right. So we're going to take a bit of a break here. And when we come back, we are going to have a look at Sephiroth, what that has to offer for us.